Now let's talk about what is Vue.js. So as Vue.js.org says, it is approachable, performant and versatile. All right. So basically one thing is clear. It is some good things about a framework they are talking about. So must be good to use. But again, uh, doesn't make sense to us yet. Let's go to the first principles of web development. And from there, we will come to the Vue.js and understand what exactly is this thing. So remember your first experience of creating web application. So let's say you created a user interface, right? So you are showing some product, some, you know, name, price, add to cart, anything you are doing. Maybe there is some nav bar over here as well. So how did we uh, guys created this in the beginning? Of course, the only way you can create a web page are basically HTML, CSS and, you know, JavaScript. Question number one. Can a browser understand anything other than HTML, CSS, JavaScript? And the answer is absolutely no. It can only understand these three things and that's how we get the our uh, web pages on the browser. But now when we come to something like framework, because this was very easy to do, right? Just create HTML file, link CSS file, link JavaScript file. So we kind of call this as a traditional view of JavaScript. So let's separate this two. This is traditional. And now we are into the world of something called as framework. So you must have heard about React, Vue, Angular, you know. So let's talk about what these frameworks actually do. Remember, so there is a one step that goes behind this, which is not happening in the traditional way. So what happens is, first, this frameworks allows you to set up a project. So let's say your set a project looks like this. Inside you have multiple folders, you know, so, so you, you might have heard about something called as components something called as scripts, then styles, and also the main thing package.json. So package.json, you know, contains all the things that you are using in your project. So basically what they do is they first provide you a structure like, okay, this is how it looks like. Please write your code inside this. Now, what is the benefit of framework when you write a code in a structure? It basically allows them to transform it into a web application but before running into a web application remember that every web application is html css javascript so what they do is they take all of these files and they kind of you know output us these three things html again css and javascript and once you have these three files of course running it onto the browser it's not a big deal because browser can understand so then what's the difference between these files and these files remember these files we have written it from our side so it actually depends upon how a developer is expert in you know in writing front-end user interfaces if developer is not that ready maybe you know of course the code will not that be optimized not that be performant you know might be lagging in some cases but who is writing this HTML, CSS, JavaScript? What we are writing is happening here. You know, this is where our game is happening. This is where we are writing all our code, right? So this is being generated by whom? This framework. So framework has some built tool. Layer. You know, they have some this program that does this mini conversion job for them. In view, it is called as white, but right now let's call it view. View is doing all of this. Now remember, view is a proper framework, proper way to create, you know, front-end uh, user interfaces and that's why the output files that are coming you know html css javascript what they have this following qualities they are performant they are really fast because the code is optimized the code is also compressed in a sense that let's say you have a 10 kb of html css javascript code and if you somehow provide it to the view and ask you can you like please convert into your html css javascript way it can actually you know uh, shed out 2 kbs 3 kbs or maybe even 5 kbs from that code and if that is happening that basically means it is a lightweight code and browser will really love a light code code and finally your browser will be happy okay so this is your browser now it is getting very performant not performant is the latest stage but it is actually getting the optimized code which is browser friendly and what about our experience what about developer developer friendly as well because it is providing a structure where you can write the code where you can organize code where you can collaborate with other people just based on you know this wonderful structure it provides so that's what Vue.js is remember Vue.js is more about process and traditional is more about just one action 
just write HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and run it. That's all. Vue.js is not like that, or any other framework. As a matter of fact, first you create a structure, you initialize a project using you know some command tools. Once this is done, you start developing it. You start writing the code. Then you ask Vue. Now the code is done. Can you please run it into the browser? Then Vue will convert it into HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Why? Because the first principle of browser and website is. Browser only understand three things: HTML, CSS, JavaScript. It does not understand dot view is. It does not understand dot JSX is. Any of this fancy files. It is only you know workable till this point. That's all. Not later on. And you know that's why it is a very what do you say in depth process of making sure that both the browser and both the developer are happy. And you get the best possible website. So that's what you know this framework does, and that's what Vue.js also does. Now uh, we move to the next part, and we'll actually actually talk about what are the features Vue will provide us, and how we can you know use that while building our online store application. And also remember, Vue versus React is also coming up. So see you guys there.